Hi, my name is Skylar, for those of you who don't know me, and coming to you not quite live from Eugene, Oregon, in my childhood bedroom is my senior thesis, or comps if you're at Carleton. Normally I would have given a whole presentation on this um, a couple months ago at school, but unfortunately there is a worldwide pandemic right now, so I had to improvise. Um, you're about to hear a piece of music called A Toile, which is a vocal piece for six singers in three movements. But before you hear it, I want to talk a little bit about the piece and say a few thank yous. First of all, what is A Toile? Um, it means star in French, which is an homage to the original language of The Little Prince, which is one of the texts I used to create it. Um, the other text source that I used is actually my high school calculus textbook, which you wouldn't expect to be paired with a children's novel. But I chose these two particularly because even though they're about completely different subjects, both of them are written with whimsy and an absolute admiration for the world's beauty. Um, putting them together was certainly a process. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to play with the boundaries between chaos and unity and have some fun improvisation available to my singers. So I started including um, these little games in the piece, which were opportunities for my singers to be playful and decide certain parameters on their own uh, within a set of rules that I gave them. And from there, the entire piece unfolded. I explored the journey from musical game to strict, normal musical syntax and back again. And I thought about what would happen if an ensemble completely fell apart, but on purpose, and how they would get back together from there. And a toile just came to be. Um, it is about being lonely together and looking at the stars and seeing different things. And I hope that the music reflects that. Um, now for my thank yous. And bear with me because there are a lot of them. Uh, first and foremost, this piece is dedicated to my parents. You taught me, as the dedication says, to marvel at the stars. And your completely unending support and love has truly made it possible for me to write and put this piece together, even in the middle of a pandemic. Um, I also would like to thank my incredible ensemble, uh, my soprano Kelly, my mezzo-soprano Bryn, my alto Rebecca, my tenor Yoni, my baritone Josh, and my bass Reed. Uh, the six of you, you didn't only breathe life into this very, very challenging piece of music, but you spent your free time and surely a lot of energy and probably a few hours yelling at your computer for not recording correctly, um, you spent all that time and energy making a virtual recording possible when you didn't have to. And I am so grateful for that. And without you, I never would have gotten to hear the entirety of this piece. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I also would like to thank Caroline Shaw, even though I only met her once. Um, Thank you, Caroline. Your piece, Partita for Eight Voices, is one of my favorite musical entities that exists, and it inspired me to explore vocal music, and without it, I never would have thought to write something like a toile. So thank you so much um, for writing Partita for Eight Voices. And I also want to thank everybody in the music department at Carleton. Um, Andrea, my comms advisor, thank you for letting me cry in your office when I was blocked, and thank you for helping me get unblocked. Um, Matthew, thank you for being the best ensemble director I could ever have asked for. Um, you were always more prepared than I was, and it was my music, so I don't know how that was possible, but thank you so much. Um, and Ron and Justin and the rest of the department, thank you so, so much for teaching me how much I love music. Um, and thank you for reminding me that it is not feasible to write a 12-minute piece inspired by the entire history of vocal music, which was my original plan for this. 
because that would not have ended well. <laughs> so, um, I really am grateful to every, every member of the Carlton music department, um, faculty, staff, and student. You guys are truly like, you hold such a, such a, um, special place in my heart. Um, and my last thank you is to the wonderfully amazing friends who have been there with me every step of the way for this, for sending me texts at two in the morning with encouraging things and happy messages when I'm overwhelmed and stressed. I really couldn't have written any music without you, let alone something as important to me as Etoile is. So, without further ado, here is Etoile. Um, the sheet music will be on the screen, and if you don't want to look at the screen, I think down below me somewhere there should be a link to a PDF if you'd like to look at that instead. Thank you. Matters of consequence. Moreover, one is not equal to zero. Only purveyors of mathematical austerity would insist too strongly on such precision.
It is a little lonely among men. The method by which the formula was discovered remains a mystery. Now to the left, now to the right. They are pursuing nothing at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mars, Venus. There are also hundreds of others. Wake up. Wake I'm seeing them. Pour out fresh water. Stars are beautiful because of a flower that cannot be seen. We do not yet understand. We do not yet understand. Matters of Until 